Hi, this is Danielle. Welcome to the Simpler Options free video for the night of October 30th, 2018. So I'm going to start off by looking at XRT, which is the retail sector. Now, for those of you who have been following the videos for a while or the chat room, you may know that I did try a long up here in XRT with this last squeeze. Um, and as you can see, that ended up being a short. Um, but at this point, I think that it, we are ready to get back into retail. So why is that? Well, yes, we do have the 195 minute squeeze firing to the upside, um, but you're seeing some signals of an oversold rally down here at the lows. Now, for those of you who watched the premium video, you'll know that um, while I think these oversold rallies are tradable, that doesn't necessarily mean the trend is going to, you know, come and take out new highs. Um, it's possible that it could just be a rally to the 34 to the to the 100. So, in this type of reversal after such a steep decline, you really just want to look for a retracement. So the 200 simple is the easiest one to do after that, you know, looking for your 34 EMA. And after that, you want to look at your major 618 that would take you up into about $50 and 13 cents. Now we've had some fun trading some of these names, um, at other points in the year. And I mean, I just, I think it's time again. So if the interesting part here is that if you compare the overall sector to these actual stocks within this, you'll find that you can find the stronger ones within the sector and trade those instead of trading XRT. Now, normally I would recommend trading um, an ETF or options on an ETF as a way to kind of live through the volatility. But in this particular ETF, you're going to find some outperformers. And that's what I want to stick with if I'm going to buy something. So what are those? Well, Ross, so as you can see, Ross made a new high today on a day where in a week where the market's kind of crazy. I mean, even last week when we had the market correcting, this thing is still holding the 50 period symbol. So overall, that's a, I think it's a pretty good pick and I like it up into about 103, maybe 104.70. It's right now for an entry, it's a little bit high. That's why I'm going to look at a couple others. So let's look at Kohl's. But I, I do want to keep Ross on the list, so that's why I'm pointing it out. But looking at Kohl's, you can see that um, today we were able to recover your 50 period simple. That is a key point right there. We also have a VZO buy that came in a couple days ago, and we're within a stone's throw of those previous all time highs. And we also have earnings coming up. Additionally, we have stock charts saying that stockcharts.com pointing out the seasonality in these different retail stocks. So all very critical pieces of information. So, you know, you got Ross, you've got Kohl's, what else? Target. So market's going down, economies, you know, people are a little bit shaky about it, but they're still going to go to Target. Okay. They're still going to go to Target. They're going to buy their diapers. They're going to buy whatever else you buy at Target. Um, I personally like buying clothes there, really anything, but um, this is, oh, this is underneath overhead resistance at this moment in time at the 50 period simple. But again, that means that we're in a better area for a buy. So in this market, you can't be, um, in this market, you can't be, I don't want to say picky because you should always be picky. And you know that a lot of the rules of the five star setup are, you should buy only when you're over the 50 period simple. Well, the fact of the matter is in this market, there's not a lot of charts that look like that. So what do we do? We stick with relative strength. We keep in mind our areas of resistance, but if we get a breakout through that area of resistance, then Hey, it's a buy for me. Where does that over, where does that resistance overlap with? It overlaps with the 618. So keep in mind that resistance area, but if we get a breakout, um, we could get something like we saw in Walgreens. We've been trading Walgreens here and you know, not the most exciting thing in the whole planet, but it's making money. So I'll take it. You've got a 195 minute squeeze that finally broke out of the 786 and boom, up she goes to the target. So there you go. Uh, I like retail. 
like it to the long side. Pretty much the rest of the market, I have a lot of caution on. I'm going to be trading earnings reports this week and um, also looking to short weakness. So make sure you join us in the trading room and I'll see you in the next video.